Hello and welcome back to More About Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to create a cron tab in Windows 10. Windows 10 calls it a scheduled task. There's many things you can do with this, such as running a PHP script. You can run a batch file, PowerShell script, just about anything you want to do. Today I'm going to use a batch file that I have created in the scripts folder called run this and upon opening it you'll see it simply creates a file called test.txt with the more about tech inside of it. I want to delete this file. So to get started you go to task scheduler From here, this is where you'll see all the scheduled tasks. Um, there are some by default that comes with Windows. A lot of applications use it to keep itself updated. So I'm going to right click. Um, I've already created a folder here called More About Tech. We will right click on this blank space and create a new task. Um, here we will just name it more about tech. This is where you give the task just a basic name. It's more for you and for whoever else needs to see it. Typically, so this is who the task runs as. Typically I change it to system because it has the privileges that it needs on the local system usually. And it seems to be cause less problems. We need to run it with highest privileges since we're writing it on the C drive. It requires admin privileges. So triggers are triggers that trigger the job to start. You have many different options, such as on a schedule, um, you know, in other words, daily, weekly, um, at startup, a um, lot of different options there. If you just want to run the job one time, then you would schedule it here to run one time. If you wanted to run every day, then you would schedule it here. Um, if you notice it doesn't have an option to repeat the task every five minutes, but if you come down here, click daily, tell this to start at 12 noon, 12 a.m. Then you can tell the task to repeat every hour. So this will run the task every hour on the hour. Um, you have options for five minutes, 10 minutes. Well, if you need every one minute, um, something that I learned is you can actually go in here and change it to every one minute. But for now, we'll just leave that off. You can stop the task if it runs longer than so many minutes or days to ensure that it doesn't, you know, if something hangs up. So we'll just tell it to run daily at midnight. Um, actions are things that you want to do in, in this scheduled task. You can have multiple actions configured. You can really, the only thing you can do here is start a program. Um, if you needed to send an email, then you would typically do that in a script because that is deprecated and that means it will be removed one day. So we want to run our run this dot batch. So we would do this by entering it here. And this was capitalized. All right, so we would click OK and I'll run through these. So conditions, you can tell it to only run if it's on AC power and it'll stop it if it switches to battery power and that way if you're on a laptop or something, it'll save power. You can tell it to wake up the computer to run the task. Here you can allow it to run beyond demand, which we will do. You can tell it to run if missed, that way it'll make sure it's it. if the computer was off and you power it on, it'll go ahead and run. Um, this also works with um, Windows Server, and this is a good way to to do um, a lot of jobs if you need them to be automated. Um, you can tell it to only run. I don't know why this is in two different places. If the task fails, you can tell it to restart. Here, you can tell it if a task is already running, what to do in that instance. So if you want to start a new instance um, at the same time, if you want to queue it up or if you want to stop the currently running instance. So we'll just click OK and then run the task manually by right clicking and click run and you have to manually refresh this. It said the operation completed and we see the file was written to just now with more about tech in it. 
Um, a couple things I want to show that a batch file isn't a good example for that is if you want to run a PowerShell script, then you would run PowerShell.exe, and here you would put the path to the script file. Um, my spell script is wrong. one um, and this in you have to PowerShell runs the file the script so you have to say you want PowerShell to run this script um, this right here starts in so if if it has dependencies of another file in that folder then you will need it to start there or you can in the script point directly to that folder so that would run a powershell script if you needed to run php then you would point this to your php file and then you would also point this right to that script and that would run your php script that's about all there is to it the jobs will run exactly how you tell it to it can be very powerful on the things that you can do here. Um, we use it oftentimes to tell servers to restart services or things like that as needed. Very good tool. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you want to have notifications on new videos that I post, be sure to hit that bell notification. And thank you for watching more about tech.